Drive World has just updated, so let's check it out. Looking in the shop, we have a brand new car called the Full E. For any of you that don't know, this is a Tesla semi-truck. When you first buy this truck, it has a score of 278 and a horsepower of 2016, with a top speed of around 140 miles per hour. And here are the customizations for it. So this truck doesn't seem to have too many new customizations. Looking in the weekly quest, we have a brand new car called the Hooligan. And probably the biggest thing coming to this update, they actually have jobs. First off, we have deliver groceries. With these jobs, you go to the starting area and you drive to the destination and you'll get money for it. Each time you start up a new one, you'll have a different location you have to go to. I like this addition because you don't need other people to do it with. And as you can see, I got $9,900 from just that little drive. The other job we have is transport trailers. Using a normal car, you'll actually get two different trailer types. This is the first one. And driving this around is actually really tough. And there you go. As you can see, I got $7,300 from that. And the other trailer you can get with normal cars is this one. Also, as we're driving by this, they actually updated homeowners, which I'll get to that later. And there we go, 13,000 for that one. And when using the truck on the trailers, you actually get a huge trailer. And there we go, we got 10,000. So I think the truck and the normal cars will give the same amount. So really it's not worth it to use this to grind this. And the other trailer you get is this one, which says Drive World on the side. There we are with that one with 14,000. So this seems like a good way to make cash. And I think this is actually a really good addition to the game because it forces players to explore the map. And the last thing about cars is they added the legendary car pack back. So if you want these cars, make sure to buy them. Moving on, they added a whole bunch of new ramps around the map. And with this, they actually added a new race called River Jumps. This is a pretty cool race. Let me know down in the comments what you think about it. Coming back to homeowners, you can see the full renovation they did to this. Also looking at the top of the screen, they added a last checkpoint button. So when you get stuck somewhere, you can TP to the last checkpoint you went through.
And here it is. When you first get it, it has a score of 1,233 and a horsepower of 1,399. When this is docked, it actually gets a pretty good speed of around 250 miles per hour. And now let's upgrade it and check out the customizations. I love the customizations you can put on this. Now when you have it maxed as a score of 2,328, depending if you take off the race tires though, it can bring up the score because you remove it and then put it back on. And it has a horsepower of 2,586. As you can see, once you max it, this, the speed doesn't get too much better because this car is basically just for acceleration because it's a drift car. And for it being a free weekly car, this car is actually pretty good at doing small races like race circuit where you have more turns instead of straights. Bringing up more about the jobs, I like these and I think they're a good addition, but having them in the weeklies multiple times might make them tedious and boring. But for these being a solo job, these might actually be the best money making method in the game because you don't need to wait for another person or wait for another race to start, you can just go straight to it and start up another one. In this video, I didn't even show you all the trailers, so make sure to go check them all out, figure out new ones that no one's seen before, and let me know down in the comments what you think about this update, and I'll see you later. <laughs> anyone still watching? If you go to Waterfall, and go under the waterfall now... They actually added a new thing down here called the Launchomatic 9000. Alright, no, I'm actually leaving now.